Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be reading Old Mother Hubbard and Her Dog. You might have heard this before in a nursery rhyme, but this is actually written by Sarah Catherine Martin about 200 years ago. And this book is also available thanks to Project Gutenberg. So I'm going to be reading it to you now. Old Mother Hubbard and her dog. Let's see. Old Mother Hubbard went to her cupboard to give her poor dog a bone. When she came there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. Cupboard is an old word for cabinet. I think the dog would be a little disappointed not to have a bone. She went to the tavern for white wine and red. When she came back, the dog stood on his head. She brought him a cake, which she bought at the fair. But when she came back, the dog sat in a chair. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread. But when she came back, poor doggy was dead. Oh, I hope that's not true. Let's see what's on the next page. Woo! She went to the undertaker's to buy him a coffin. But when she came back, the dog was laughing. <laughs> she took a clean dish to get him some tripe. Tripe comes from a cow. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe. But when she came back, he was smoking his pipe. She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat. When she came back, he was riding a goat. <coughs> I've never seen a dog do any of these things. She went to the fruiterer's to buy him some fruit. When she came back, he was playing the flute. She went to the barber's to buy him a wig. When she came back, he was dancing a jig. Just a funny dance. She went to the cobbler's to buy him some shoes. When she came back, he was reading the news. She went to the hatter's to buy him a hat. When she came back, he was feeding the cat. You can see the little kitty right there. It's a nice hat too. She went to the seamstress to buy him some linen. When she came back, the dog was spinning. She went to the hosiers to buy him some hose. When she came back, he was dressed in his clothes. Looks pretty handsome. The dame, that's a word for a girl. The dame made a curtsy. The dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. The dog said, bow wow. Ah, I just love reading books like this that rhyme because you can kind of guess what the word might be. All right, I had a great time reading this story to you, and I'll see you next time.